Number one, I'm given two ordered pairs, so I'm just going to write the second ordered pair below the first. So I can use a shorter method of finding the slope. So my slope, remember, I take the difference in these two first. So it'll be 2 minus negative 2 over negative 5 minus negative 1. And then my m is 2 minus negative 2 is 2 plus 2, so I get a 4 for the numerator. And then negative 5 minus a negative 1 is going to be negative 5 plus 1, so negative 4. And when I simplify that, I get a negative 1. So my slope is negative 1. Now, for the shorter method, I think it's shorter, do the y equals mx plus b, where my m is negative 1 and my b is unknown. And I need one ordered pair, so I'm going to use a negative 1, negative 2. I happen to want to use that. Plug everything in, so I have negative 2 equals m is negative 1, x is negative 1, and then plus b. So multiply those, I get 1 plus b equals negative 2. Subtract 1 from both sides, and I end up negative 3 equals b. And then I can put that into the y equals mx plus b form. And I have y equals my slope was negative 1 x minus 3. And I can rewrite that y equals x, y equals negative x minus 3. If you'd like the other method better, see if we can fit that in over here, we have y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. My m is still a negative 1, and my xy, are, I can choose which ones I want, negative 1, negative 2. And so I'll have y minus negative 2 equals m, which was negative 1, x minus negative 1, that was my x part from this ordered pair, and then simplify. So I have y plus 2 equals negative 1 times quantity x plus 1. Distribute that negative, so I have negative x minus 1 and y plus 2. So I'll subtract 2 from both sides, and I end up with y equals negative x minus 3, just like I did with the other method.